I'm thrilled to share with you the five best ways to overcome fear and achieve your dreams. Fear is something we all experience at some point in our lives. It can hold us back, paralyze us, and prevent us from reaching our full potential. But the good news is, we have the power to conquer it and turn our dreams into reality. I know firsthand the struggles of fear and self-doubt. Growing up on a farm in rural Idaho, I had big dreams of becoming successful and making a positive impact in the world. But fear often crept in, making me question if I was capable of achieving my goals. It wasn't until I discovered these five powerful techniques that I was able to break through my fears and create the life I always dreamed of. And I want to share these techniques with you today, because I believe that you too have the potential to overcome your fears and achieve your dreams. You are not alone in this journey. We all face fears and doubts. But it's how we deal with them that truly matters. By listening to this message, you've taken the first step toward turning things around and unlocking your full potential. So let's dive in and learn the five best ways to overcome fear and achieve your dreams. Are you ready? Let's get started. Starting with number five. The fifth way to overcome fear and achieve your dreams is by continuously learning and improving. Fear is a natural part of life. It's an emotion that we all experience, and it can either hold us back or propel us forward. The choice is ours, and that's where continuous learning and improvement come in. It's the key to unlocking our full potential and conquering our fears. So what does it mean to continuously learn and improve? It means never to stop growing, never stop seeking knowledge, and never stop striving to become the best version of yourself. It means being a lifelong student, always open to new ideas and willing to challenge yourself. Now you may be wondering, why is continuous learning and improvement so important in overcoming fear and achieving our dreams? Well, my friends, the answer is simple. The more we know, the less we fear. When we're armed with knowledge and understanding, we're better equipped to face our fears head on. Let me give you an example. Imagine you have a fear of public speaking. You avoid it at all costs, even though you know it could benefit your career or personal growth. But what if you took the time to continuously learn and improve your public speaking skills? What if you took a course, read books, and practiced in front of a mirror? Suddenly that fear becomes less intimidating because you've equipped yourself with the knowledge and skills to overcome it. Continuous learning and improvement also allow us to push past our comfort zones. We all have a comfort zone, a place where we feel safe and secure. But the problem with staying in our comfort zone is that it limits our growth and potential. It keeps us stuck in the same place, never allowing us to reach for our dreams. But when we continuously learn and improve, we expand our comfort zone and open ourselves up to new opportunities and experiences. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I don't have the time or resources to continuously learn and improve. Well, my friends, I'm here to tell you that time and resources should never be an excuse. In today's world, there are endless opportunities for learning and improvement. We have access to books, podcasts, online courses, and so much more. And the best part is, many of these resources are free or affordable. But it's not just about gaining knowledge and skills. Continuous learning and improvement also involve taking action. It's not enough to just read a book or listen to a podcast. We must apply what we learn and take action towards our goals. As the saying goes, knowledge is power, but only if it is applied. Continuous learning and improvement also allow us to adapt to change. In today's fast-paced world, change is inevitable. And if we're not continuously learning and improving, we'll be left behind. But when we embrace change and continuously learn, we're able to adapt and thrive in any situation. My friends, I've seen the power of continuous learning and improvement in my own life. I grew up in a small town with limited resources, but I never let that stop me from seeking knowledge and improving myself. And that's what led me to where I am today, a successful entrepreneur, author, and speaker. So I urge you all to make continuous learning and improvement a part of your daily life. Set aside time each day to read, listen, and learn. Surround yourself with people who inspire and challenge you. And most importantly, take action towards your dreams and goals. Now, on to number four. The fourth way to overcome fear and achieve your dreams is to take action and be persistent. We all have dreams and goals that we want to achieve in life, but often fear holds us back from taking the necessary actions to make those dreams a reality. We're afraid of failure, of rejection, of not being good enough. 
But what we fail to realize is that fear is just a state of mind. It's not a tangible thing that can stop us from achieving our dreams. It's merely a barrier that we create for ourselves. So how do we break through this barrier of fear? The answer is simple. Take action. Action is the antidote to fear. When we take action, we're no longer paralyzed by our fears. We're moving forward, making progress towards our goals. And the more action we take, the less power fear has over us. But taking action is not enough. We must also be persistent. We must keep taking action even when we face obstacles and setbacks. Because success does not come easy. It takes hard work, determination, and persistence. It takes getting knocked down and getting back up again. It takes failing and learning from those failures. But if we keep taking action and remain persistent, success is inevitable. Think about it. Every successful person you know has faced fear and failure. But what sets them apart is their ability to take action and be persistent. They didn't let fear stop them from pursuing their dreams. They didn't give up when faced with challenges. They kept moving forward, taking action, and being persistent. And that's what led them to success. I want to share with you a personal story of how taking action and being persistent transformed my life. When I was in my mid-twenties, I was working as a stock clerk at a department store. I was barely making ends meet, and I knew I wanted more out of life. I had a dream of becoming a successful entrepreneur and living a life of abundance. But fear held me back. I was afraid of failing, of not having enough money, of not being good enough. But one day, I made a decision. I decided to take action and be persistent. I started reading books, attending seminars, and learning from successful people. I took action by starting my own business. And I was persistent even when things got tough. And you know what? It worked. I became a millionaire by the time I was 31, and I've been living my dream life ever since. Now I'm not telling you this story to brag. I'm telling you this because I want you to know that if I can do it, so can you. You have the power within you to overcome your fears and achieve your dreams. All you have to do is take action and be persistent. But I must warn you, the journey will not be easy. There will be challenges and setbacks along the way. But remember, every successful person has faced those same challenges. The difference is, they didn't let fear stop them. They took action and remained persistent. And that's what led them to success. My challenge to you today is this. Take action and be persistent. Write down your goals and dreams and create a plan of action. Then start taking small steps towards those goals every day. And when you face obstacles, remember to be persistent. Keep pushing forward and never give up on your dreams. Now, on to number three. The third way to overcome fear and achieve your dreams is to surround yourself with positive and supportive people. Now, why is this so important? Why is the company we keep so crucial to our success? Well, let me tell you a story. Imagine you're a small plant just starting to grow. You need sunlight, water, and good soil to thrive. But what happens when you're surrounded by weeds? They suck up all the nutrients and block out the sunlight, hindering your growth. This is the same with the people we surround ourselves with. Negative and unsupportive people can drain us of our energy and prevent us from reaching our full potential. On the other hand, Positive and supportive people can nourish us and help us grow to our fullest potential. So the question is, how do we surround ourselves with positive and supportive people? Well, it all starts with being intentional about the company we keep. We must be selective about the people we allow into our inner circle. It's not about being exclusive or snobbish, but rather about protecting our energy and well-being. We must be mindful of the energy and attitudes of those we spend the most time with. Now I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, what if I have negative or unsupportive people in my life that I can't avoid? Well, my answer to that is this. It's not about avoiding them, but rather about limiting your exposure to them. You can't control the people around you, but you can control how much time you spend with them. Choose to spend more time with those who uplift and inspire you, and less time with those who bring you down. Another important aspect of surrounding yourself with positive and supportive people is to be aware of the influence they have on you. It's been said that we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. So take a moment to think about the five people you spend the most time with. Are they positive and supportive? Do they inspire and motivate you? If not, it may be time to reevaluate your inner circle. 
But it's not just about surrounding ourselves with positive and supportive people. It's also about being one ourselves. We must be mindful of the energy we bring into our relationships and strive to be a positive and supportive influence on those around us. As Mahatma Gandhi famously said, be the change you wish to see in the world. So if you want to be surrounded by positive and supportive people, you must first be one yourself. Now I want to address a common fear that many of us have when it comes to surrounding ourselves with positive and supportive people, and that is the fear of rejection. We may fear that if we try to be positive and supportive, we will be rejected or ridiculed by others. But let me tell you this. Those who reject you for trying to be a better version of yourself are not the kind of people you want in your life anyway. Don't let the fear of rejection hold you back from surrounding yourself with positive and supportive people. The right people will appreciate and support you for who you are. On the other hand, when you do surround yourself with positive and supportive people, you will notice a significant shift in your mindset and your life. You will be more motivated, inspired, and driven to achieve your dreams. You will have a support system that will lift you up during difficult times and celebrate your successes with you. And most importantly, you will be surrounded by people who believe in you and your potential, even when you may doubt yourself. Now, on to number two. The second way to overcome fear and achieve your dreams is to set realistic goals. You see, fear often stems from the unknown, from uncertainty. When we have big dreams and goals, it can be overwhelming to think about all the steps we need to take to achieve them. We may doubt our abilities, or we may be afraid of failure. But when we break down our dreams into smaller realistic goals, suddenly they become more attainable. We can see a clear path towards our dreams, and that path is much less intimidating. So what does it mean to set realistic goals? It means breaking down your big dreams into smaller achievable goals. Goals that are measurable, achievable, and time-bound. Let me give you an example. Let's say your dream is to start your own business. That's a big dream, and it can be overwhelming to think about all the things you need to do to make it a reality. But if you break it down into smaller realistic goals, suddenly it becomes much more manageable. Your first goal could be to research your target market and come up with a business plan. Your second goal could be to secure funding or find a mentor. And your third goal could be to launch your business within a year. By setting these smaller realistic goals, you're giving yourself a roadmap to success. Now, I know what some of you may be thinking. Setting realistic goals sounds boring. It doesn't sound like something that will help me overcome my fears. But let me tell you, there is nothing more empowering than achieving a goal you've set for yourself. When you set realistic goals and take action towards them, you're proving to yourself that you're capable, that you have what it takes to achieve your dreams. And that feeling of accomplishment is what will give you the confidence to face your fears and keep moving forward. But here's the catch. Setting realistic goals does not mean settling for mediocrity. It does not mean limiting yourself or your dreams. It simply means breaking down your big dreams into smaller achievable goals. And as you achieve each goal, you can set new, bigger goals for yourself. This is how you create a cycle of growth and success. Now I want to address a common fear that many of us have. The fear of failure. We're often afraid to set goals because we're afraid of failing. But let me tell you, failure is not something to be feared. Failure is simply an opportunity to learn and grow. Every successful person has experienced failure at some point in their journey. But what sets them apart is that they didn't let failure stop them. They used it as a learning experience and kept moving forward towards their dreams. Now, on to the number one way to overcome fear and achieve your dreams. And that, my friends, is to identify and confront your fears. Fear is a natural human emotion, and it can serve as a valuable tool in keeping us safe and out of harm's way. However, when fear starts to control our actions and decisions, it becomes a hindrance to our growth and success. It stops us from taking risks, trying new things, and reaching for our dreams. But I'm here to tell you that fear does not have to control you. You have the power to overcome it and achieve your wildest dreams. The first step in conquering fear is to identify it. What are you afraid of? Is it failure, rejection, the unknown? Take a moment to think about your fears and write them down. This simple act of acknowledging your fears is the first step towards conquering them. It brings them out of the darkness and into the light, where you can face them head on. Once you've identified your fears, it's time to confront them. This is where the magic happens. Confronting your fears means taking action despite feeling afraid. It means stepping out of your comfort zone and doing the things that scare you. 
It may seem daunting, but I promise you that the rewards are worth it. Think about your biggest dream or goal. What's stopping you from achieving it? Is it fear? If so, it's time to confront that fear. Let me share with you a personal story. When I first started my career as a motivational speaker, I was terrified of public speaking. I would get nervous, my hands would shake, and my voice would tremble. But I knew that if I wanted to reach my dream of inspiring and empowering others, I had to confront my fear of public speaking. So I started small. I would speak in front of a mirror, then in front of a few friends, and eventually in front of larger audiences. It wasn't easy, and I still get nervous sometimes. But I refused to let fear hold me back. And now, I've spoken in front of thousands of people all over the world, and it's one of the most fulfilling and rewarding experiences of my life. Confronting your fears also means taking risks. As the saying goes, the greatest risk in life is not taking one. Many of us are afraid of taking risks because we fear failure. But let me tell you, failure is not the opposite of success. It's a part of success. Every successful person has failed at some point in their journey. The difference is that they didn't let failure stop them. They confronted their fear of failure and kept pushing forward. I want to leave you with one last thought. Imagine if some of the greatest minds in history let fear stop them. What if Steve Jobs had been too afraid to start Apple? What if Oprah Winfrey had let her fear of failure stop her from pursuing her dream of becoming a talk show host? The world would be a very different place. But these individuals confronted their fears and achieved greatness. And so can you. Remember, fear does not have to control you. You have the power to overcome it and live the life you desire. In our next topic of personal development, we'll dive deeper into how to cultivate a growth mindset and continue on the journey of self-improvement. But for now, I challenge you to confront your fears and take that first step towards your dreams. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me today as we embark on a journey towards personal development and the pursuit of success. Today, I want to discuss a topic that has fascinated me throughout my career. The five habits of highly successful people. These habits are not just simple actions. They are fundamental principles that guide individuals towards greatness. So, fasten your seatbelts as we dive into the world of success and achievement. Habit number one, goal setting. Highly successful people understand the power of setting clear and compelling goals. They recognize that without a target to aim for, their efforts would be scattered and ineffective. They have a crystal clear vision of where they want to be in the future and create a roadmap to get there. They break their goals down into actionable steps and commit to their pursuit with unwavering determination. Remember, as the great Earl Nightingale once said, people with goals succeed because they know where they're going. Habit number two, continuous learning. Highly successful individuals are lifelong learners. They understand that knowledge is the key that unlocks doors to new opportunities. They read books, attend seminars, and surround themselves with people who inspire them to grow. These individuals never settle for stagnation. They are always seeking ways to expand their skills and knowledge. As we venture through life, let us adopt this habit of constant improvement so that we may become the best versions of ourselves. Habit number three, time management. Time is our most precious resource and highly successful people comprehend this better than anyone else. They have mastered the art of time management and guard their time fiercely. They prioritize their tasks and eliminate distractions that can derail their progress. Successful individuals understand that time wasted can never be recovered, so they invest it wisely in activities that align with their goals and values. Let us all strive to be conscious custodians of our time, for it is what separates the achievers from the dreamers. Habit number four. Taking action. Highly successful people are serious about turning their dreams into reality. They understand that ideas alone hold no value unless acted upon. They are not afraid to take calculated risks and embrace the possibility of failure. These individuals know that success is built on a foundation of action and are willing to put in the work required to achieve their dreams. So my friends, let us leave this room today with a commitment to taking bold and decisive action on our aspirations for it is through action that we shape our destiny. Habit number five, persistence. Highly successful individuals understand that setbacks are merely stepping stones on the path to success. They possess an unwavering belief in their abilities and maintain a relentless determination to overcome obstacles. They view failures not as the end, 
but as valuable lessons that bring them closer to their goals. These individuals persist when others give up, and that is what sets them apart. Let us remember the words of Calvin Coolidge who said, Nothing in the world can take the place of persistence. As we reflect upon these five habits of highly successful people, let us internalize their significance and commit to incorporating them into our daily lives. Let us set goals that stretch our limits and ignite our passion. Let us embrace continuous learning and turn our minds into fertile soil for growth. Let us manage our time with utmost care and invest it wisely in activities that bring us closer to our dreams. Let us take audacious action and believe in ourselves and our abilities. Let us persist in the face of adversity and never, ever give up. These habits lay the foundation for our personal development journey, which we will delve into further in part two of this speech. They serve as the pillars upon which we can build a life of significance, fulfillment, and success. I challenge you all to adopt these habits into your lives starting today. Let these principles guide your thoughts, actions, and aspirations. Remember, success is not a result of luck or chance. It is a product of deliberate choices and habits. So, my friends, let us rise above the ordinary and become the architects of our own success. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you in part two of our personal development journey. I'm thrilled to be here with you today to share my five keys to achieving anything in life. In today's message, I want to remind you that you're not alone in your struggles. We all face challenges and obstacles on our journey toward success. But the good news is, by listening to this message, you can turn things around and start living the life you truly desire. Success isn't a matter of luck or chance. It's a result of internal actions and mindset. And I'm here to guide you towards unlocking your full potential and achieving your dreams. So whether you're feeling stuck in your career, relationships, or personal growth, these five keys will provide you with the tools and strategies to overcome any roadblocks and create a life of abundance and fulfillment. Let's get started. Starting with the fifth key to achieving anything in life, which is surrounding yourself with supportive and like-minded people. You may wonder why this is so important. Well, let me tell you, my friends, that the people we associate with have a tremendous influence on our thoughts, actions, and ultimately, our success. Think about it. Have you ever been in a group of negative and pessimistic people? How did you feel after spending time with them? Did you feel motivated and inspired to chase your dreams? I highly doubt it. On the other hand, have you ever been around a group of positive and driven individuals? How did that make you feel? I bet you felt energized and ready to take on the world. The people we surround ourselves with either lift us up or bring us down. And if we want to achieve anything in life, we must surround ourselves with people who will lift us up, support us, and push us towards our goals. But let me tell you, finding these supportive and like-minded people is not always easy. It takes effort, intention, and sometimes, it may even require us to let go of some relationships that are holding us back. We are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. So if we want to achieve greatness, we must surround ourselves with greatness. We must surround ourselves with people who have achieved what we want to achieve. People who have a positive mindset. People who are driven and determined to succeed. Now I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, what if I don't know anyone like that? What if I don't have a supportive network? Well, let me tell you that you can create your own supportive network. You can seek out like-minded individuals who share your goals and aspirations. Attend networking events, join mastermind groups, and surround yourself with people who are on the same journey as you. You will be amazed at the power of a supportive network. Not only will they provide you with motivation and inspiration, but they will also hold you accountable and push you to be your best self. But let me also warn you that not everyone in your life will understand your dreams and goals and that's okay. You don't need everyone to understand or support you. What matters is that you have a core group of people who do. Surrounding yourself with supportive and like-minded people is not just about achieving success. It's also about creating a positive and fulfilling life. When we are surrounded by people who believe in us and support us, we are more likely to believe in ourselves and reach our full potential. But let me also remind you that it's not just about what we can get from others. It's also about what we can give. We must be supportive and encouraging to those around us, just as we expect them to be for us. As the saying goes, in order to receive, we must first give. I urge you to take a look at the people in your life and ask yourself, are they lifting me up or bringing me down? If it's the latter, it may be time to make some changes. Surround yourself with people who inspire you, challenge you, 
and support you. And remember, it's not about the quantity of relationships, but the quality. Which leads us to the fourth key to achieving anything in life, which is staying focused and persistent. Now this may seem like a simple concept, but let me tell you, it is not always easy to do in a world filled with distractions and instant gratification. It's easy to lose focus and give up when faced with challenges. But let me ask you this. Do you think those who have achieved great success in life gave up when faced with challenges? Of course not. They stayed focused and persistent, and that is what set them apart from the rest. So how do we stay focused and persistent? The first step is to have a clear vision of what you want to achieve. You must have a burning desire for your goal, and it must be so strong that it fuels your focus and persistence. Without a clear vision and a strong desire, it's easy to get distracted and lose motivation. Take some time to think about what you truly want in life. What is your purpose? What do you want to achieve? Once you have a clear vision, write it down and keep it somewhere you can see it every day. This will serve as a constant reminder of what you are working towards. The next step is to break your goal down into smaller achievable tasks. This will help you stay focused and motivated as you see yourself making progress. It's important to set realistic and specific goals. Instead of saying, I want to be successful, say, I want to make $100,000 in the next year. This gives you a specific target to aim for and makes it easier to track your progress. As you achieve each smaller goal, celebrate your success and use it as motivation to keep going. Now let me tell you a little secret. The road to success is not a smooth one. There will be obstacles and challenges along the way. But it's how you handle these challenges that will determine your success. This is where persistence comes in. When faced with a challenge, do not give up. Instead, see it as an opportunity to learn and grow. Thomas Edison failed over 1,000 times before inventing the light bulb. But he did not see those failures as defeats. He saw them as steps towards his ultimate success. So when faced with a challenge, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? And keep moving forward. Another important aspect of staying focused and persistent is to surround yourself with the right people. As I once said, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. If you want to be successful, surround yourself with successful and driven individuals. These are the people who will motivate and inspire you to keep going. They will also hold you accountable and push you to be your best self. On the other hand, if you surround yourself with negative and unmotivated individuals, it will be much harder to stay focused and persistent. So choose your circle wisely. In addition to surrounding yourself with the right people, it's also important to continuously educate yourself. The world is constantly changing, and it's crucial to stay updated and adapt to new trends and technologies. This will not only help you stay ahead in your field, but also keep your mind sharp and focused. Attend seminars, read books, listen to podcasts, and never stop learning. As I always say, formal education will make you a living. Self-education will make you a fortune. Lastly, I want to remind you that success is not a destination. It's a journey. It's important to enjoy the process and celebrate your wins along the way. Take time to reflect on how far you've come and be grateful for what you've achieved. This will not only keep you motivated but also help you stay focused and persistent. Remember, success is not just about reaching a goal. It's about who you become in the process. And now, to the third key to achieving anything in life, which is taking action. You see, my friends, we live in a world where information is readily available at our fingertips. We have access to knowledge, resources, and tools that our ancestors could only dream of. Yet despite all of this, many of us still struggle to achieve our goals and live the life we desire. Why is that? It's because we lack one crucial ingredient. Action. We can have all the knowledge in the world, but if we do not take action, it's all for nothing. We can attend seminars, read books, and listen to motivational speeches, but if we do not take action, we will never see any real change in our lives. So my friends, I urge you to take action. Take that first step towards your dreams and goals. Do not wait for the perfect moment or for all the stars to align. The truth is, there will never be a perfect moment. There will always be obstacles, challenges, and distractions. But it's up to us to push through and take action despite them. One of my favorite quotes is by Robert H. Schuller, who said, Spectacular achievement is always preceded by unspectacular preparation. This means that we must be willing to put in the work, to take action, even when it may not seem glamorous or exciting. 
It's the small, consistent actions that we take every day that lead to massive success in the long run. Think about it. The most successful people in the world did not achieve their success overnight. It was the result of years of hard work, determination, and most importantly, action. They were not afraid to take risks, to fail, and to learn from their mistakes. They understood that taking action was the key to unlocking their full potential and achieving their dreams. My friends, I want you to think about your goals and dreams. What is it that you truly desire? Is it financial freedom, a fulfilling career, a happy and healthy relationship, or all of the above? Whatever it may be, I want you to know that it is within your reach, but it will require you to take action. Now I know that taking action can be scary. It means stepping out of our comfort zones and facing our fears. But let me tell you this. Fear is just a feeling. It is not real. It is a product of our imagination. And it only has as much power as we give it. So my friends, do not let fear hold you back from taking action towards your dreams. Instead, let your dreams be your driving force. Let them be the reason why you get up every morning and work towards them. Let them be the reason why you push through the obstacles and challenges. Let them be the reason why you take action every single day. I want to share a personal story with you. When I was just starting out in my career, I had big dreams and goals just like all of you. But I was also afraid. I was afraid of failure, of rejection, and of not being good enough. But I refused to let fear stop me from taking action. I took small, consistent actions every day. I read books, attended seminars, and learned from successful people. And most importantly, I took action. I started my own business. And although it was not easy, I kept pushing forward. And you know what? It paid off. I achieved success beyond my wildest dreams, and it all started with taking action. My friends, I want you to know that you are capable of achieving anything you set your mind to. You have the power to create the life you desire. But it all starts with taking action. So what are you waiting for? The time is now. Take that first step, and the rest will fall into place. And now, to the number two key to achieving anything in life, which is developing a plan. You see, discipline is the foundation, but a plan is the blueprint. It is the roadmap that will guide us towards our destination. Just like a ship needs a captain and a map to reach its desired port, we need a plan to reach our desired goals. Now some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I have a plan. I have written down my goals, and I know what I want to achieve. Then that is great. But let me ask you this. Is your plan detailed and specific? Is it actionable? Is it flexible? You see, having a plan is not just about writing down your goals. It is about creating a detailed and strategic plan of action to reach those goals. Let me share with you a quote by Benjamin Franklin. If you fail to plan, you are planning to fail. And I couldn't agree more. Without a plan, we are simply drifting through life, hoping for things to fall into place. But as we all know, hope is not a strategy. We need a plan to turn our hopes into reality. So how do we develop a plan that will lead us towards our goals? Well, the first step is to clearly define our goals. What is it that we want to achieve? Is it a successful career, financial stability, a happy and fulfilling relationship? Whatever it may be, we need to have a clear and specific goal in mind. Next, we need to break down our goal into smaller manageable steps. This is where the power of planning comes into play. Instead of looking at our goal as one big mountain to climb, we break it down into smaller hills that we can conquer one by one. This not only makes our goals seem more achievable, but it also gives us a sense of progress and accomplishment as we tick off each step. Now, it is important to remember that our plan should be flexible. Life is unpredictable, and we need to be able to adapt and adjust our plan accordingly. As the saying goes, Life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. So while it is important to have a plan, we should also be open to change and be willing to pivot if necessary. Another crucial aspect of developing a plan is to have a timeline. We need to set deadlines for each step of our plan. This not only helps us stay on track, but it also creates a sense of urgency and motivates us to take action. Without a timeline, our plan can easily become a never-ending to-do list. But having a plan is not enough. We need to take action. We need to put in the work and effort to make our plan a reality. As the great philosopher Aristotle said, well begun is half done. 
So let us begin our journey towards our goals with a well thought out and strategic plan. Now, I understand that developing a plan can seem overwhelming and time consuming. But let me tell you, the time and effort you put into creating a plan will save you 10 times more time and effort in the long run. It is an investment in your future self. But most importantly, having a plan gives us a sense of direction and purpose. It gives us something to strive for, something to wake up for every day. It is the fuel that keeps us going when the going gets tough. And trust me, there will be challenges and obstacles along the way. But a well-developed plan will help us navigate through them. I urge you to take the time to develop a plan for your life. Remember, the goal without a plan is just a wish. And I know that you are not just wishers, you are doers. You're here because you want to achieve greatness in your life. And I believe that with discipline and a well-developed plan, you can achieve anything you set your mind to. And now, to the number one key to achieving anything in life, which is setting clear and specific goals. You see, goals are the foundation of success. Without them, we are simply drifting through life aimlessly, going wherever the wind takes us. But with clear and specific goals, we have a sense of direction and purpose. We have something to strive for, something to work towards. And that, my friends, is the key to achieving anything in life. Now you may be thinking, but Jim, I have goals. I want to be successful. I want to be happy. I want to have a good life. And while those are all great aspirations, they are not specific goals. They are vague and general statements that do not provide us with a clear path to follow. As the saying goes, a goal without a plan is just a wish. So the first step in achieving anything in life is to set clear and specific goals. This means taking the time to really think about what it is you want to achieve and then writing it down. Yes, writing it down. There is power in putting pen to paper and making your goals tangible. It gives them substance and makes them more real. But it's not enough to just write down your goals. You must also make them specific. For example, instead of saying, I want to be successful, ask yourself, what does success mean to me? Is it financial success? Is it a successful career? Is it a happy and fulfilling personal life? Once you have identified what success means to you, then you can set specific goals within each area. Let me give you an example. When I first started my journey toward success, I had a very specific goal in mind. I wanted to become a millionaire by the time I was 30 years old. Now that may seem like a lofty goal, but it was specific, and it gave me a clear target to work towards. And guess what? I achieved that goal at the age of 31. And it all started with setting a clear and specific goal. But setting clear and specific goals is just the first step. The next key to achieving anything in life is to create a plan of action. You see goals are just dreams without a plan, and a plan is what turns those dreams into reality. So once you have your specific goals in mind, it's time to create a plan of action. This plan should include specific steps you need to take in order to achieve your goals. It should also include a timeline and deadlines for each step. This will keep you accountable and on track towards achieving your goals. And remember, your plan may need to be adjusted along the way as circumstances change. But the important thing is to have a plan in place to guide you towards your goals. Now I know what some of you may be thinking. But Jim, I have set goals before, and I have created a plan. But I still haven't achieved what I want. And to that I say, have you taken action? You see setting goals and creating a plan is only half the battle. The other half is taking action. And not just any action but consistent and persistent action. You cannot expect to achieve your goals by simply thinking about them or talking about them. You must take action towards them every single day. And I know it's not always easy. There will be days when you don't feel like it, when you face obstacles and challenges, but that's when you need to remind yourself of why you set those goals in the first place. That's when you need to push through and take action, even when it's hard. And speaking of challenges, let me tell you something about them. Challenges are not meant to stop us. They are meant to strengthen us. They are not obstacles, but opportunities for growth and learning. So when you face challenges on your journey towards your goals, embrace them and use them to become better, stronger, and more resilient. Now, as we wrap up part one of this speech, I want to leave you with one last thought. The journey towards achieving your goals will not be easy. It will require hard work, dedication, and perseverance. But I promise you, the reward at the end will be worth it. 
The satisfaction and fulfillment you will feel when you achieve your goals will be unlike anything else. So my friends, as we move into part two of this speech, I want you to think about your goals. Are they clear and specific? Do you have a plan of action in place? And most importantly, are you taking consistent and persistent action towards them? Remember, the number one key to achieving anything in life is setting clear and specific goals, and it's never too late to start. So let's all commit to setting and achieving our goals. And I'll see you in part two for more on personal development. Thank you. Today's message is for those of you who are tired of living paycheck to paycheck, struggling to make ends meet, and feeling trapped in a cycle of financial stress. I know how it feels because I've been there myself, but I also know that it doesn't have to be this way. In fact, I firmly believe that each and every one of us has the power to change our mindset and create financial freedom in our lives. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about in this video. The 5 T's to changing your mindset and creating financial freedom. So if you're ready to break free from the limitations of your current financial situation, if you're ready to take control of your life and your future, then I urge you to keep watching. Because I promise you, by the end of this video, you will have the tools and knowledge to turn things around and start living the life you truly deserve. Let's get started, starting with the fifth key to changing your mindset and creating financial freedom which is practicing gratitude and abundance. You see, mindset is everything. It is the lens through which we view the world and ourselves. Our mindset determines our thoughts, our actions, and ultimately our results. And if we want to change our results, we must first change our mindset. This is where gratitude and abundance come into play. Now, you may be wondering, what exactly is gratitude and abundance? Well, let me break it down for you. Gratitude is the quality of being thankful and appreciative. It is the act of acknowledging and recognizing the good things in our lives, no matter how small they may seem. On the other hand, abundance is the state of having more than enough. It is the belief that there is always enough to go around, and that we are deserving of it. Though why are gratitude and abundance so crucial in changing our mindset and creating financial freedom? The answer is simple. They shift our focus from scarcity to abundance. You see, most of us operate from a scarcity mindset. We believe that there is not enough to go around and that we must compete and fight for our share. This mindset is limiting and can hold us back from reaching our full potential. On the other hand, when we practice gratitude and abundance, we shift our focus to the abundance that surrounds us. We begin to see opportunities and possibilities that we may have otherwise overlooked. We start to appreciate what we have instead of constantly chasing after what we don't have. And this shift in perspective can have a profound impact on our lives. Let me share a personal story with you. When I was a young man, I was struggling financially. I had a job that barely paid the bills, and I was living paycheck to paycheck. I was constantly worried about money, and my mindset was one of scarcity. But then I stumbled upon the concept of gratitude and abundance, and it changed my life. I started to practice gratitude every day. I would take a few minutes each morning to write down three things I was grateful for. It could be something as simple as a warm cup of coffee or a phone call from a friend. And I also started to believe in abundance. I told myself that there is always enough to go around and that I am deserving of it. Slowly but surely, my mindset started to shift. I began to see opportunities that I had never seen before. I started to appreciate the things I had instead of constantly chasing after more. And before I knew it, my financial situation started to improve. I got a promotion at work, and I even started my own business. All because I changed my mindset from scarcity to abundance. Now, I'm not saying that practicing gratitude and abundance will magically solve all your financial problems. It takes hard work, dedication, and perseverance to achieve financial freedom. But what I am saying is that it all starts with your mindset. And gratitude and abundance are powerful tools that can help you change your mindset and ultimately change your life. So how can you practice gratitude and abundance in your daily life? It's simple. Start small. Just like with any new habit, it takes time and consistency to see results. Here are a few practical tips to get you started. Firstly, start a gratitude journal. Every morning or evening, take a few minutes to write down three things you are grateful for. It could be anything from a roof over your head to a delicious meal you had. This simple act of acknowledging the good things in your life will shift your focus to abundance. Secondly, practice affirmations. Affirmations are positive statements that you repeat to yourself daily. They help to reprogram your subconscious mind and reinforce positive beliefs. 
Some examples of affirmations for gratitude and abundance are, I am grateful for all the abundance in my life, and I am open to receiving all the good things that come my way. Lastly, surround yourself with positive and grateful people. We are greatly influenced by the people we spend the most time with. So make sure to surround yourself with people who have a positive and grateful mindset. Their energy and mindset will rub off on you, and you will find yourself practicing gratitude and abundance effortlessly. Which leads us to the fourth key to changing your mindset and creating financial freedom, which is to surround yourself with like-minded individuals. First and foremost, let me ask you this. Have you ever heard the saying, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with? Well, I am here to tell you that this statement is not just a cliché, it is a fact. The people we surround ourselves with have a significant impact on our thoughts, actions, and ultimately our results. Think about it. If you spend most of your time with negative, unmotivated, and financially struggling individuals, what do you think your mindset and financial situation will be like? On the other hand, if you surround yourself with positive, driven, and financially successful individuals, do you think your mindset and financial situation will be any different? Of course it will. That is the power of association, my friends. Now let me clarify something. When I say surround yourself with like-minded individuals, I am not talking about surrounding yourself with people who are exactly like you. No, I am talking about surrounding yourself with people who share similar values, goals, and ambitions as you. People who will challenge and inspire you to be the best version of yourself. People who will push you out of your comfort zone and help you grow. People who will support and encourage you on your journey towards financial freedom. You see, success is not a solo journey. It is a team effort. And the team you surround yourself with can either make or break your success. That is why it is crucial to carefully choose who you spend your time with. Now I'm not saying that you should cut off all ties with your current friends and family if they do not fit the criteria of like-minded individuals. What I am saying is that you should be mindful of the time you spend with them and seek out new relationships that align with your goals and aspirations. So how do you find and surround yourself with like-minded individuals? Well, the first step is to identify your values, goals, and aspirations. What do you want to achieve in life? What are your core values? Once you have a clear understanding of these, it will be easier for you to attract and connect with people who share similar values and goals. Next, put yourself out there. Attend networking events, seminars and workshops related to your interests and goals. Join online communities and forums where you can connect with like-minded individuals. And when you do meet someone who resonates with you, don't be afraid to initiate a conversation and build a relationship. Remember, the people you want to surround yourself with are also looking for like-minded individuals, and you could be the missing piece to their puzzle. Now let's address the elephant in the room. Fear. I know that for some of you, the idea of reaching out and connecting with new people may seem daunting. You may be afraid of rejection or judgment. But let me tell you this. Fear is just a temporary emotion. But regret is permanent. Do not let fear hold you back from creating the life you desire. Step out of your comfort zone, and I promise you, the rewards will be worth it. Another important aspect of surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals is to be a giver, not just a taker. The relationships you build should be based on mutual support and contribution, not just what you can gain from the other person. Be willing to share your knowledge, experiences and resources with others, and in return, you will receive the same. Remember, the more you give, the more you will receive. Lastly, I want to emphasize the power of a mentor. Surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals also means finding a mentor, someone who has already achieved what you aspire to achieve. A mentor can provide guidance, support, and valuable insights that can help you on your journey towards financial freedom. Seek out successful individuals in your field of interest, and don't be afraid to ask for their guidance. Most successful people are more than willing to help others who are on the same path as them. Which leads us to the third key to changing your mindset and creating financial freedom, which is to educate yourself about money. You see, many of us have been raised to believe that the only way to be successful is to get a good education, get a good job, and work hard for 40 years until we retire. But I am here to tell you that this is not the only path to success. In fact, it may not even be the best path. Education is not just about getting a degree or a diploma. It is about constantly learning and growing both personally and professionally. And when it comes to money, 
Education is the key to unlocking your financial freedom. So what do I mean by educating yourself about money? It means understanding how money works, how to make it work for you, and how to make it grow. It means learning about budgeting, investing, and creating multiple streams of income. It means understanding the difference between assets and liabilities, and how to acquire more assets. You see, most people spend their entire lives working for money. But the truly successful people make money work for them. They understand that money is a tool, and they know how to use it to their advantage. And the only way to do that is through education. Now I know what some of you may be thinking. You may be saying, But Jim, I'm not good with numbers. I don't understand finance. It's just not my thing. Well, let me tell you something. I was not good with numbers either. In fact, I barely passed math in school. But I made a decision to educate myself about money, and it has made all the difference in my life. You see, education is not just about what you learn in school. It's about what you learn on your own. It's about reading books, attending seminars, and surrounding yourself with people who are successful in the areas you want to excel in. It's about being curious and constantly seeking knowledge. Now, I want to share with you a few key areas that you should educate yourself on when it comes to money. First and foremost, you need to understand the power of budgeting. This is something that many people overlook, but it is the foundation of financial success. A budget allows you to track your income and expenses and make sure that you are living within your means. It also allows you to see where you can cut back and save money, which you can then use to invest and create wealth. Secondly, you need to educate yourself on investing. This is where you make your money work for you. There are many different types of investments, such as stocks, real estate, and businesses. It's important to understand the risks and rewards of each type of investment and to create a diversified portfolio that will protect your wealth. Next, you need to learn about creating multiple streams of income. Most people rely on one source of income, their job. But what happens if you lose that job or if you get sick and can't work? Creating multiple streams of income not only provides financial security, but it also allows you to live a more fulfilling life. You can pursue your passions and interests while still earning money from different sources. Another important area to educate yourself on is the difference between assets and liabilities. Assets are things that put money in your pocket, while liabilities are things that take money out of your pocket. Many people make the mistake of thinking that their home or car is an asset, but in reality, they are liabilities. They require money to maintain and do not generate any income. Understanding this difference will help you make better financial decisions. Lastly, I want to stress the importance of surrounding yourself with successful people. As the saying goes, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. If you want to be successful, you need to surround yourself with successful people. Find a mentor, join a mastermind group, or attend networking events. These people will not only inspire and motivate you, but they will also provide valuable insights and advice. Which leads us to the number two key to changing your mindset and creating financial freedom, which is setting clear financial goals. You see, most people go through life without a clear direction or purpose. They wake up each day, go to work, pay their bills, and then repeat the same cycle over and over again. They never stop to ask themselves, what do I truly want in life? What are my financial goals? And because they don't have a clear answer to these questions, they never achieve the success and financial freedom they desire. But let me tell you, my friends, setting clear financial goals is the key to unlocking your full potential and achieving the life of your dreams. It is the foundation of success and the first step towards creating the life you truly desire. So what exactly do I mean by setting clear financial goals? Well, it means having a specific, measurable, and achievable target for your financial future. It means knowing exactly how much money you want to make, how you want to make it, and what you will do with it once you have it. Now I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I don't have any goals, I don't know what I want. And to that, I say, it's time to figure it out. You see, Having no goals is like trying to navigate through a dark room without a flashlight. You stumble around, hoping to find your way, but you never truly know where you're going. And even if you do manage to find your way, it will be a long and difficult journey. But when you have clear financial goals, it's like having a bright spotlight guiding you toward success and financial freedom. You know exactly where you're going, and you can see all the obstacles in your way. And with that clarity, you can make the necessary adjustments and take the right action to overcome those obstacles and reach your destination. Now, 
I want to share with you a powerful technique that has helped me and countless others achieve their financial goals. It's called visualization. Every day, take a few minutes to close your eyes and visualize yourself already living your ideal life. Be yourself in your dream house, driving your dream car, and enjoying all the luxuries and experiences you desire. Feel the emotions of success and financial freedom. This will not only motivate you, but it will also attract the opportunities and resources you need to make your vision a reality. But setting clear financial goals is not enough. You must also take action towards achieving them. And this is where most people fall short. They have big dreams and goals, but they never take the necessary actions to make them a reality. They let fear, doubt, and excuses hold them back from reaching their full potential. But let me tell you, my friends, success and financial freedom require hard work, dedication, and perseverance. You must be willing to do whatever it takes to achieve your goals. You must be willing to step out of your comfort zone, take risks, and overcome any challenges that come your way. And as you take action towards your financial goals, remember to always stay focused and disciplined. It's easy to get distracted by shiny objects and get off track. But if you stay true to your goals and keep taking consistent action, you will eventually reach them. Which leads us to the number one key to changing your mindset and creating financial freedom, which is to identify and challenge limiting beliefs. You see, our beliefs shape our thoughts, our actions, and ultimately our results. And if we have limiting beliefs, they will hold us back from reaching our full potential and achieving the financial freedom that we desire. So what exactly are limiting beliefs? These are the thoughts and beliefs that we hold on to, often without even realizing it, that keep us from taking risks, trying new things, and reaching for our dreams. They are the little voice inside our head that says, You're not good enough. You'll never succeed. You don't have what it takes. But here's the thing, my friends. These beliefs are not based on facts or reality. They are simply stories that we have told ourselves over and over again until we start to believe them as truth. And the dangerous thing about limiting beliefs is that they become self-fulfilling prophecies. We believe we can't do something, so we don't even try. And when we don't try, we don't succeed. And then we use that as evidence to reinforce our limiting beliefs. But what if I told you that you have the power to change these beliefs? What if I told you that you have the ability to rewrite the stories that you tell yourself? It all starts with identifying and challenging your limiting beliefs. The first step is to become aware of your thoughts. Pay attention to the little voice inside your head. What is it saying? Is it positive and empowering? Or is it negative and limiting? Once you become aware of your thoughts, you can start to challenge them. Ask yourself, is this belief based on facts? Or is it just a story I've been telling myself? What evidence do I have to support this belief? What would happen if I let go of this belief and replaced it with a more empowering one? You see, my friends, we often hold on to these limiting beliefs because they are familiar and comfortable. But I want to challenge you to step out of your comfort zone and challenge these beliefs. Because on the other side of fear and discomfort lies growth and success. Now, I understand that this is not an easy process. It takes time and effort to identify and challenge our limiting beliefs. But I can assure you, it is worth it. Because once you start to let go of these beliefs, you open yourself up to a world of possibilities. You start to believe in yourself and your abilities. You start to take risks and try new things. And most importantly, you start to see results. And these results will lead you on the path towards financial freedom. But let me be clear, my friends. Challenging your limiting beliefs does not mean that you will never experience failure or setbacks. It simply means that you will no longer let these beliefs hold you back. You will have the resilience and determination to keep going, even in the face of adversity. And as you continue on this journey of personal growth and development, you will start to see that anything is possible. You will start to believe that you are capable of achieving your wildest dreams, and you will start to create the financial freedom that you have always desired. So my friends, I urge you to take action today. Start identifying and challenging your limiting beliefs. And as you do so, remember these words from the great Henry Ford. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right.